beautiful people it's Courtney today I'm back with another one star versus five star slime shop review you guys seem to love these so I'm gonna keep making them for you but if you do have any other suggestions that you'd like to see please let me know in the comments down below a lot of my videos come from you guys and you guys help me out so much with amazing ideas so do please let me know in the comments if you have a new series you'd like to see me start or something like that I will definitely keep that in mind before we hop into the video it would mean so much if you click that subscribe button if you aren't already I post three times a week and also I've been posting a lot on my slime Instagram so you can go give that a follow as well and I do have a slime shop if you're new here as always there's always something in stock I'll link it down below for you guys I'm working on doing bi-weekly restocks we'll see as always, all the shops mentioned in this video are going to be linked down below, and keep in mind this is my 100% honest opinion. I try to provide like constructive feedback for these slime shops, or some of them are just truly amazing, and I'll let you guys know that as well. But without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into this video. Alrighty you guys, we are starting with Softball Slime Shop and this was a one star slime shop and inside the packaging was okay. It could definitely use some improvement. I think if it was just wrapped nicely in newspaper, you know, the plastic bag could be done without. Um, but inside I got a strawberry banana smoothie slime and it was awesome. It actually came in two different containers so I can mix it together myself and it was only supposed to be a four ounce. So I thought that was really Really, really nice of them and they also sent a four ounce extra so that was awesome so inside it didn't come with any candy or borax which it actually needed some borax so keep that in mind if you order I always think slime orders should definitely come with some type of activator um, in case the buyer does not have them but it mixes together into this beautiful beautiful like orange color and it was just so much fun this was such a thick slime so for the price I think it was a great value I I do think the packaging can use some improvements like if it was just cutely wrapped in newspaper I think it would have been perfect you know with these kind of jars you don't even need the masking tape on the containers so just little things and cute little nicely written logos and stuff like that could really make a big difference but I would highly recommend adding some borax in with this order but this definitely was not a one star slime shop for me I would give this one a four and a half stars like I said just because the packaging could be better and it could use some borax as well. This next package is from Slime and Time, and this was a eight, a five ounce package for eight dollars. This was such a steal. It came really nicely packaged. It came with some candy, some borax, and instructions and the charm. So I think it was definitely a five star quality packaging. I would expect like a nicer container, but this was packaged really well, and I think this cheaper container is the reason for the lower price point. Although nicer packages are always much appreciated. Uh, so this was like a neo cloud slime and this was an amazing slime each layer was scented but the chocolate layer really pulled through the most so this mostly smelled like chocolate for me but I think the price and the quality is absolutely amazing so I definitely understand why this was a five-star shop the cloud slime was amazing and it had a great drizzle this was probably definitely my favorite out of all of the slimes it was just really really nice and totally worth the you know money and the five star definitely shown through for this one it was amazing I just couldn't recommend them enough I they had so many great slime options on their shop as well so all really really affordable prices so amazing 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 Thank you. 
This next package is from Slime Storm Studio, and this was a three-star slime shop, and all that came in the package was a little thank you note, the slime, and some glitter. It came with no borax, which was definitely needed with this slime. This slime completely melted, um, so if you don't have any activator, you're kind of just out of your money, so that stinks. Um, and this slime also looked nothing like it was supposed to. It was supposed to be like a pink and blue cotton candy slime obviously it mixed together during shipping and I had to knead it a lot with a lot of activator to get it to come back to life. Um, it did have nice bubble pops but this was honestly just like a basic slime nothing special about it uh so i wasn't that thrilled with that this order i would actually give it probably less than three stars i would give it about a one star just because plain slimes are always going to mix together during shipping unless it's like a cloud slime or very thick slime or butter slime it's going to mix together so i just don't recommend advertising that if you can't guarantee that it's just not going to completely melt and you're kind of out of a slime if you can't activate it Next, I have a package from Berry Cherry Slimery, and this was a five-star shop, and everything was packaged just like it. It was packaged so nicely and neat, and you know, all the labels and the logos and the candy was nice. And this is the absolute perfect example of how you should send activator if you use a liquid activator. I've seen a couple of these in some of the packages I got, and I think it's a great idea. They hold up very, very well. So I got this um, beautiful cloud slime. I think the color are gorgeous it was so much fun to mix together I do point I do want to point out that it wasn't scented so if you don't like scents there you go but the only thing with this was it had a terrible drizzle it had a really nice texture to it but even the listing it wasn't supposed to be a cloud cream or anything like that it was supposed to be a cloud slime with a great fluffy drizzle the listing said um, but the drizzle as you could see is just not there um, the colors though are beautiful and I think the texture is still really nice despite that so I would give this one a four star just because it doesn't drizzle really nicely like you would want from a cloud slime and that is what you paid for um, so this one was on the bit more expensive side I wouldn't say it was expensive but it was priced in line with like a five star shop and I think the colors were beautiful so the texture could have used a little bit of improving This next one, I'm not gonna lie you guys, this was a one star slime shop and I feel like I got ripped off because this package was $9.20 and the best thing in it was the full size Skittles. This was supposed to be like a cereal milk slime. Now it didn't specify the size in the listing so I guess that's a bit my fault, um, but it was it was just so tiny. This picture looked a lot, lot larger like you were getting a much bigger size. So for $9 for like a little two ounce is a rip off in my opinion. And this also was a terrible shopping experience because I had ordered this back in September and it took over two weeks past when it was already supposed to be arrived at my house. It took two weeks longer than that to actually get there. I tried contacting the shop with no response. I had to open a case with Etsy for them to finally just like, you know, ship out the slime. So this was also just overactivated and it was just like a basic white slime for me. So like I said, the best thing was definitely the Skittles. I would have to give this one a one star. And last but not least, I have a three-star slime shop, which is Glitz and Glamour Slimes. I think this one came packaged really, really nice, and for $7, I think I got a great deal. So it came with instructions, borax, and tons of great extras in a little baggie, which I thought was really cute. So we got some candies and some extras and then borax in there. And then the container itself was nice. It liked the logo. And this one, the smell was absolutely amazing. It reminded me of like Christmas and I don't know, it just smelled delicious. It was like my favorite scent out of all of these. So I think the price was really great for this. It was $7 and definitely think it was worth it. And this was supposed to be like a chewed up slime. And instead of packing peanuts, they actually used this really kind of like foam 
cut into pieces and it gave it a really cool and different texture. So I really enjoyed this one. I would give this one a five stars. I think it was great. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you made it to the end, you are part of my, I am running out of hashtags. You are part of my hashtag Halloween squad. You can leave that in the comments down below if you made it to the very end of this video and it's our little secret at the end of every video, I always switch it up. And I've also been posting a ton of vlogs. So if you wanna go check that out and subscribe to my vlog channel, that would mean so much. You get to see like behind the scenes, my life, my slime shop, all that fun stuff. So it is over here. You could just click on it and I'll see you guys Saturday for a brand new video and it's gonna be a restock. So definitely make sure to check that out and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.